In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Ali Inspector software um, using the Chrome web browser. So I'm just in Chrome right now, and once you uh, get access to the software, you'll be uh, directed to this page here. And all you have to do is when you're on a PC computer, click the uh, download PC software here. So go ahead and click that. And I'll bring up a little window here so you can download your uh, computer somewhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and just download it somewhere to my computer. If you're not familiar where to download it <clears throat> on your computer, you can simply just select desktop from the right hand side here. Um, sorry, left hand side. So you can download to your desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and select one of my uh, hard drives here and just go and save it here. Click Save. It should download here. Now occasionally sometimes you will see a warning down here um, that Chrome may say it's a unrecognized file or something like that but don't worry about that don't worry our software doesn't have any viruses or anything like that in it um, because I've actually designed the software myself from scratch and we also host the files on the uh, Amazon servers which they don't even allow infected files on there anyways so there's nothing wrong with it it's just one of those precautionary things that um, the web browsers usually do just in case you do get some sort of bad zip file or something like that so what we've done here is downloaded the compressed zip file. Now the setup file is contained inside that zip file. So you can go ahead and you actually just can click here and it will let you, if you click the little side thing here, I'll say always, um, actually show in folder, you can click here if you want to. If you can't quite remember where you downloaded it to, I've done that quite a bit. And here's the zip file. Now before I do that, if you do see that little warning there, it'll say um, unrecognized file or something like that. You, there will be this little drop down and um, you just have to select yes keep the file or something like that I don't remember exactly what it, what it will say but something like keep the file so once you do that then it'll show up like that then you can go ahead and uh, open up your Windows um, Explorer and go over to the zip file to extract a zip file it's quite simple all you have to do in in Windows is just right click and extract all so click that and it'll ask you uh, where you want to extract it it'll just default to the folder that it's in and you can select this little checkbox here. It will create a, um, it will show the extracted files when you're complete if you want to see it. Um, just go ahead and extract and see it brings up another window there. And, and this is the setup file. So all you have to do here is you go ahead and you double click. Actually, a better way to do it, you can right click and select run as administrator. Now if you don't see um, run as, as administrator, just, just double click it and go ahead and uh, see this warning might come up sometimes <clears throat> but that's okay just go ahead and click more info here and go run anyways and click next 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 alright once it's installed it will install a icon on your desktop here so just, you just see the icon right here just go ahead and double click that icon and it will bring up the software and it will ask you to enter in your email that you used to purchase it or if you receive this in a different way you basically have to enter in the email that you you uh, used to get the software so if you've got this through a different means like through a bonus or something like that you enter email in here and it will register so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll say that you registered and it's all good to go and that's how you install the software on a PC and if you want to see all the current updates, just go ahead and click the help button up here. You can go right to the help videos. You can also uh, go right back to that page there and you can see all the current um, updates and it shows you the available version and the version you have installed so you can always keep it up to date. But every time you start the software, the software will check our system to see if there's a new, um, uh, new version available. So you don't have to keep looking if you don't like to, but just in case you have uh, maybe something wrong with your internet connection or something like that. You can always just double check by clicking that button. I'll bring you right over to uh, all the updates. Thanks for watching.